What do you do when someone tells you that as a woman, you should not be a part of dawah or that you should not actively seek knowledge because you won't really need it, it's not really your place? What's the answer? Let's ask some sheikhahs. Dr. Haifa Yunus, founder of Jannah Institute, Hafidha of Quran, mashallah, international speaker, tabarakallah, and OBGYN, Sheikha. What is your answer? Why not? Allahu Akbar! Sayyida Aisha was a da'iyah. Sayyida Fatima was a da'iyah. And the da'iyah is not necessarily you're going to do it everywhere. You're a first da'iyah in your home. Mm -hmm. And without knowledge, how can you be a da'iyah? Allahu Akbar. And if Allah wants to use you outside, let it be, alhamdulillah, as long as you, the way you do it, please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What you dress, the way you speak, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Sheikha Dr. Rani Awad, who is, mashaAllah, one of the head researchers in Muslim mental health, the head of the Muslim mental health lab at Stanford, Ijazat from Syria, what is your answer? I can't understand why this question would even be a question. Allahu Akbar. What I saw in Syria when I was studying are women who are both sheikhats and are absolutely doing everything that you can do in society, whether it's working in every field of and domain there is to work, whether they're mothers or not. But whatever they're doing, they're also doing Quran and hadith and fiqh and hifl and everything that you can imagine. The da'wah is something that you can, you have to see it to understand how this works. And there's absolutely no difference between the man or the woman. And so when you see this number of women who are hafilat and are mujizat, basically licensed to Islamic uh, sacred sciences, and you see that the women are doing this, it's not even a question. So Allah. when someone asks me this, I'm like, what kind of question is this? Because I lived it and saw it. Allahu I hope Akbar. everybody else will get to that too. Today. Ameen, Ya Rabbi Ameen. Astada Hussain Majedidi, international speaker, mashallah, well known on purification of the heart, super active on social media and giving da'wah. May Allah bless you. Share with us. As the other speaker said, I, it's not a question that needs to be asked because we don't need permission from anyone to do what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet gave us Allah. permission to do. And the Prophet Allah. teaches us, anni wa aya. what does that mean? Teach, even if it's one ayah. So I don't need anyone else to tell me that I shouldn't do more than that. He gave me the permission I need. Allahu Akbar! Astada Amina Darwish. MashaAllah, she's the chaplain at Stanford University. She has an ijaza in all 10 qiraat. She has a PhD, tabarakallah. What's your answer? The most common misconception about Muslims in America is the oppression of women. And every time I show up somewhere and they're like, but Islam oppresses women. I'm like, my dude, they sent me. Allahu Akbar. Like, you are so wrong. That's to anyone that asks, why do Muslim women know stuff? This is what we should all be doing if we are serious about our dawah in this country. One and two, it would be an insult to our mothers to not, do, to not take up the legacy.